Hello everybody. We are back with our review and comment on the plant-based news. We're giving, we're giving. We are walking. I gotta fix my little neck thing here. Doing our daily vigorous aerobic exercise. We actually took a day off a couple days ago. And I, I, we didn't talk about this, but I felt that the next day. I was like, yeah. I didn't feel right. Well, we so I didn't get my exercise. A, we went for a really long, excruciating hike on Sunday. So Monday, we had to work on taxes. Yesterday, not yesterday, it's Thursday. Tuesday, I was really sore, but I still got my steps in. So I'm back to normal now. I don't know what you mean by you felt that. I off. felt that I didn't get any exercise and I didn't feel right because I didn't get any exercise. Uh, like I, I was alive and moving around a little bit, but I didn't get like the 12,000 steps that we usually get, which is definitely required for your mental health. So that's what I noticed. Anyway, Denise found an article about pineapples. We eat pineapples probably two a day approximately for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, that's our our eggs, bacon and eggs. It's pineapple. Yeah, it's my favorite fruit. It is. Bananas are pretty darn good too. Yeah, but it's it's tough. I do a lot of videos if you see on the channel about how to pick out pineapples because it is tough to find ripe pineapples. It definitely is. Don't think it's easy. We get lots of ripe pineapples, but we're constantly traveling and we're going to different places. So it's easier when you're doing that, actually. They're so much better than canned pineapple. Yeah. And canned pineapple usually has added sugar, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it, it does. It's ridiculous. And it will raise your blood sugar. All right. So what's this called? So it's called The Many Health Benefits of Pineapple. And it was written by the Cleveland Clinic, published October 12th of last year, 2022. So... <clears throat> Don't let that spiny skin intimidate you. Pineapple is sweet enough to rival most candies, and it packs yeah. way more well, health benefits. Well, that's that's if you get it ripe. Yeah. If you don't get it ripe, it's like really sour and almost gross tasting, I'd say. Yeah. And that's what most of them are. Most of them are like that, so you have to know how to pick them out. Well, then doesn't it taste like Sour Patch Kids? No, <laughs> when <it's> sour? no. <laughs> no. I think it's I mean, unripe pineapples to me, which is most of them, if they're green, they will not ripen on their own. The, the articles mention this either. My videos do. They will not. I don't care what anybody tells you about putting them upside down, putting them in a bag, whatever. All they do is ferment and rot. Yeah. So it packs way more health benefits. <laughs> Registered dietitian Julia Zumpano, RDLD, talks about how this tasty tropical fruit boost your health. Uh, I, we usually don't quote dietitians because they're taught wrong <laughs> by the universities. They'll tell you that chicken is good for you too. <laughs> yeah, but remember, well, think about this for a minute though. If you read this article and you think, oh my gosh, okay, this is going to be great. Pineapples are great for me. And then you go out and you pick, you pick up all these green pineapples that taste disgusting. Uh, then mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you then you're not, most people are not going to understand because they don't even discuss in this article how to pick out a pineapple and how to make sure it's right. So it provides plenty of nutrients. Pineapple is low in calories and high in vitamins and minerals. One cup of pineapple chunks will deliver vitamin C. You'll get about one third of your recommended daily amount of vitamin C, which aids in tissue growth and repair. Vitamin C helps boost your immune system and may also help fight cancer, heart disease, and arthritis. So we eat way more than one cup. We each get at least two cups. So that's 100% of our vitamin C requirement. Yeah, and you don't need any orange juice without the fiber. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to drink cow's milk that's been fortified with vitamin C. <laughs> Manganese. Pineapple has more than 100% of your recommended, recommended daily amount of this essential trace element. Manganese helps with bone formation, immune immune response, and metabolism. Yeah, yeah, I heard about this in a book that I'm reading on reversing diabetes. It mentioned I didn't know you were reading a book. Yeah, I wanted to download Dr. Neil Barnard's program for reversing diabetes, and I clicked on the wrong book, bought the wrong one on <laughs> Audible. I'll, I'll get Dr. Barnard's one next time. But I well, all you got to do is anyway. do what we explain and tell you guys, and you'll reverse diabetes. Yeah, you can reverse <laughs> yeah, diabetes not. in just about any state, but you might not be able to reverse the kidney damage. Oh, so. okay. Yours is reverse kidney disease? 
no. Okay. The, this, the one who wrote this book, and I'm sure Dr. Bernard will say the same thing, you can reverse diabetes, you can get your blood sugar under control, but you might still need dialysis because you've damaged your kidneys. Okay, That's yeah, well, some in. things, yeah, some things are irreversible if you let them go too long. That's true with anything, I'd say. Don't. That's why you don't want to let it go too long. You want to take care of yourself. It's the same idea about why you want to train pets and kids at a young age because when they get older it's nearly impossible to do anything about it it's the same idea <laughs> yeah so fiber nearly 10 percent of your daily fiber needs are in one cup of pineapple fiber is necessary for a healthy gut and can help you stave off hunger by B, B vitamins pineapple gives you a healthy dose of several B vitamins including thiamine niacin B6 and folate that these nutrients help your body process energy from the food you eat. They're also critical to forming new red blood cells, which carry oxygen to your organs and tissues. And various minerals. Pineapple contains several minerals your body needs for proper function, including copper, potassium, and magnesium. It promotes tissue healing. Pineapple is the only food known to contain Bromine. Bromine. Yeah, well, they say that's the Bromine. thing that actually messes with your mouth. Yeah, it's an enzyme. Uh, and it, <laughs> it feels like it's eating your mouth alive from the inside. Yeah. And I, I would always also, um, my recommendation with pineapple, and they don't mention it in the article, is that you want to wash your mouth out with water a couple times after you finish eating your pineapple. Yeah. Um, Bromelain appears to produce substances that combat in pain and swelling. Consuming bromelain from pineapple might also help your skin heal after surgery or injury. It, fight, it fights inflammation. <laughs> inflammation is a natural process that occurs in our bodies to help fight off illnesses. But too much inflammation, especially over long periods, can lead to conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and cancer. The anti-inflammatory power in bromelain can help fight off inflammation and may suppress the growth of certain tumors. Of course, eating pineapple isn't a cancer-free guarantee, but eating lots of colorful fruits and vegetables, including pineapple, is a good way to help prevent cancer and other health conditions, as Zampano says. It aids in digestion. Here's another reason to make pineapple your go-to dessert. Pineapple contains a significant amount of fiber, which is associated with better digestion. Significant? Do they, do they say, fiber. like, how much? Yeah, I don't they, think they... I don't do. think they were paying attention because no. earlier... Oh, earlier you said. fiber was okay. in a cup of pineapple. Well, as long as you're eating mostly whole plants or plants that are nothing more than just cut up or blended, you're going to get your fiber. That's, that's, that's yeah. the important thing. And pineapple, there's some plants that have surprisingly little fiber, as we found out. Like green grapes, we, we discovered yeah, have very have little less fiber. Than red grapes. Yeah. So, um, that bromelain is also thought to aid in digestion, although there's not enough specific scientific evidence to say for certain. It relieves arthritis pain. The anti-inflammatory power of how much? Are, well, how much arthritis pain do you have, Denise? Over fifty. I, I mean. don't. I have. <laughs> I do have osteoarthritis. In you my do? Neck. Yeah. Oh, well, that's from bending over and poor posture. Yes. But, I've, but I've something just... that can be controlled with food, uh, it's already probably controlled. Like, we don't have any yeah. kind of chronic arthritis throughout the body or whatever. Right. The anti inflammatory power of pineapple's bromelain may provide pain relief for people with osteoarthritis. If you have achy joints from osteoarthritis, try adding pineapple to your diet, as Amparo suggests. But don't stop taking your medications or change your dose without talking to your doctor. It may help with weight loss. Most weight it's loss It's a very experts, watery fruit, so low caloric very low caloric density. Yeah. Most weight loss experts recommend a diet rich in fruits and vegetables if you're trying to shed pounds. But pineapple could be your diet's BFF best fruit friend because its enzymes just might help with fat burning. The studies on pineapple as a weight loss aid are only animal based so we need more evidence of this claim as Zupano notes but adding some of this healthy fruit to your diet certainly couldn't hurt. It helps with post-workout recovery. 
When your muscles work hard, they produce inflammation, leading to that inevitable soreness that can sideline you for up to three days. But popping pineapple into your post-workout smoothie might help you get back to your training regimen a little sooner. Or just eating it straight. I mean, it's not even just that part of it, but also rehydrating you. It really does a great job after you wake up. That's why we have it in the morning of rehydrating you. Yeah, so we only need to consume half as much water as people who don't eat fruit because we get the water from the fruit. Yeah. So, yeah, also on smoothies, don't go to Smoothie King for your smoothie. Those smoothies can have up to 800 calories in them because they add so much sugar. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> add sweeteners. The, all Any of those, all those smoothie places add sweeteners. Yeah. Uh, so, don't, may, you got to make your own. Yeah, make it your own with frozen fruit and soy milk. The anti-inflammatory power in pineapple could soothe muscles and may help them recover more quickly, Simpano says. How to enjoy pineapple. Pineapple is a standalone snack once it's cut into ring-shaped slices or chunks. Mike does slivers. <laughs> I just cut the whole thing up, yeah. But if you want to avoid cutting it, many grocery stores offer pre-cut pineapple. Frozen and canned pineapple are good options too. But remember, you don't know the state of ripeness if you get some pre-cut pineapple. You have no idea. You don't know if they added sugar. Even if it's not in a can, they still may have added sugar. And the, yeah. the key with, with, I mean, search our channel for, for the videos where I explain how to, how to pick out ripe pineapples. And you may have to leave the store without getting anything. That's the bottom line. They've got to be as yellow as possible. Real yellow. Not gray and not green, but real yellow. The more yellow on that pineapple, the better. So if you can't find fresh pineapple, choose canned pineapple packed in its own juice, not syrup. I've never even seen it packed in syrup. And they, well, just, if, it only, if it has more than one ingredient, there's a problem. Pineapple has, doesn't have to go it alone either. This fruit also fits well into a variety of sweet and savory meals. These, there are some recipe links to grilled pineapple with lime and mint, caramelized pineapple with raspberries, pineapple raspberry popsicles, pineapple yogurt fruit spout salad. Hopefully that's a um, soy yogurt. <laughs> yeah. What makes pineapple so healthy? Pineapple's impressive, impressive nutrition profile makes it a healthy dessert, side dish, or anytime nosh. What's a nosh? <laughs> nosh. That's just another word for eat, oh. consume. A one cup serving offers just 75 calories without any cholesterol, sodium, or fat. It doesn't even but register as a fat. <laughs> they're saying zero sodium. I, I always thought there was sodium in almost all plants. I'm surprised yeah, that there's absolutely zero in there. Trace amounts. While some of pineapple's health claims need further study, there's no denying it's loaded with nutrients that can boost your well-being. Slice, chunk, grill, or blend it, however you choose to eat it, enjoy adding this bright, tangy fruit to your diet. That's yeah. it? Yes. The end. We've got our bedtime story. Yeah. Well, like we said, we eat pineapple at least in the, over the almost a year, I'd say. At least. Yeah. We've been eating, actually, it's probably since we left for Florida this past uh, event season. Mm -hmm. That's what we picked it up when we were in Florida and we found some good sources up here. So it's just like with anything else, pineapples are hard to find right, but just keep buying them because the more you buy them, the more they realize there's a demand at the stores and the more they will stock them. And pineapples can be anywhere from $2 a piece or sometimes a little over a dollar if you go to Walmart to like five dollars a piece if you get some organic pineapples and there's huge, there's big differences in grades too i've noticed that at the different stores like walmart always gets the worst quality pineapples sorry even if it looks uh, yellow it's still like a knockoff or something it's like second hand second rate quality or whatever the, there's, the, they, the people that bought that grow these things they know all the different things about how to tell if it's going to taste good and look good when you cut it open a lot of times they're yellow on the outside and then they're so semi-rotten when you open them and they knew that that's why they sold it to walmart so the other thing is they also know like in certain parts of the fields they're going to grow better they're going to taste better there's a squirrel yeah yeah in certain parts of the fields and we have no idea to tell and know that you know when, when we're in the store so anything else no so you're going to recommend pineapple to people yeah yeah 
helps keep us, it keep us healthy. It does? Yes. Yeah, your hair looks very pineapple. Your shirt looks very pineapple-y. Yeah. But it's not, it's not a pineapple. pineapple. <laughs> yeah, it's a sunflower. All right, well, here is the, what is that? Fountain. Fountain, yeah. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you uh, like, give us your comments, and also be sure to subscribe if you don't subscribe to the channel already. And give us some ideas about other topics you want us to cover on our walks. Bye. Bye.